Hello everyone, welcome to the House of Horrors. Now I've got a few videos that, that I will be doing because I just got a bunch of stuff in in the last couple of days. Today we're going to be touching base on some magnets that are comic book related as well as horror related. And, you know, yeah, pretty much that's what we're going to do here. And I got some small ones here I just recently got from Big Bad Toy Store that are in fact horror related. And they're pretty cool and they look good on my stand. Because I got um, metal legs for them, so I just put them right on the stands. But anyway, I'm going to show you what these guys look like. Now keep in mind, Godzilla is in fact horror related. As the original 1954 Godzilla uh, was actually a horror movie. Only because of how dark it was and how mysterious it was. Uh, during the Showa series from 1955 to 1975... Godzilla was in fact child friendly so it's not so much horror related but it does go back to that route back in 1984 it's kind of like a reboot from the 1954 movie but it was modernized a little bit <clears throat> and from that point on it's pretty much uh, basically stayed the same all the way through the MonsterVerse this is in fact the MonsterVerse Godzilla okay these are refrigerator magnets Okay, that's pretty much what they call them. But this one here is pretty decent. Uh, I can't remember where I got these from. I think probably FYI. I might have got those from there. But anyway, let's just move on to the next one here. Which is, in fact, another Godzilla. Okay. Well, these are pretty cool. All right. And in the back of it. All right, let me see what that says here. It says $3.99. I'm not sure where that came from, but anyway. And that's another Godzilla magnet. Okay. This one here, here, let me get this other Godzilla here. Because I got three Godzillas. Because I will tell you this, I was big into Godzilla for the longest time. I collected all kinds of NECA figures, anything Godzilla related. Uh, but I've since uh, gotten away from it because of the fandom, the fan base. Um... Uh, there's a lot of fanboys out there, so there's a lot of serious hate and some serious uh, debates that go on that are technically un unnecessary. So I kind of staved off of it simply because of all the hate out there. But that's like this uh, uh, in any particular genre, especially with um, like when you get a reboot of any kind of horror movie and stuff like that, and it's completely different from what other people think. You're going to get people that have different opinions. And some like, let, let me give you an example. Like uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, the 2010 version with Jackie Earl Haley. Uh, that one, in my opinion, I truly did like it because it was a darker tone than any of the other Freddy Krueger movies. But people seem to hate it because it's different. Same thing goes with Chucky. Same thing goes with Hellraiser. And the same thing goes with Friday the 13th. It's all the same. Michael Myers uh, with Halloween. It's all the same. But anyway. Uh, Godzilla is pretty much the same thing. A uh, bunch of hypocritical people out there. And the fan base in itself is pretty horrible sometimes. And they can be mean. You know what I'm saying? But I just kind of got away from that. But anyway, that's another Godzilla magnet. Okay. I'm going to slap these together so we don't lose them. This is the only one that's not really horror related. Well, it can be, but it's not. It is the Hulk. Okay. It's my all-time favorite Marvel character. All right, I'm thinking that they might be making another Hulk movie. I'm not sure what it's going to be based on. I'm hoping it's going to be the World Breaker Hulk because he's a super badass. But anyway, this is the Hulk. All right, that's pretty cool. Now, let's get into these guys here. We got Frankenstein. He's cool looking. I like the way he looks. Now, these are flexible. They're like a rubber. Okay. But the back, back of the magnet, as you can see that. Just so you know where you can get it from, okay? All right. But anyway, that's what that looks like here, guys. Okay? All right. Moving on to the next one here, which is, in fact, a skull.
You got the magnet in the back, okay. Then I'm going to get to the other ones here. These are more horror related because I just recently got these. Uh, they're based on um, uh, Chucky. So we're going to get into the first one here. This is in fact Glenn. Right. Now I did recently just remove from um, Big Bad Toy Store one of the mega scale versions of Glenn. Uh, I've got Chucky and I've also got Tiffany. I'm thinking about putting that back on again uh, because I definitely want that again. So I thought, you know, how you go through these things, you say, yeah, I don't need that, so I'll just take it off and stuff like that. But I'm thinking about putting it back on uh, just to complete the set, you know what I'm saying? Which is what I will do. So, but anyway, this is Glenn, okay? And it's got the little magnet in the back. Now this is Tiffany. Now I got two different Tiffany's, okay? I do got a mega scale version of Tiffany. She looks fantastic. Okay. This is another Tiffany. She's a little spooky here. Okay. And last but not least, Mr. Chucky. And that's that's the one from not the Cedar Chucky, it was the Bride of Chucky, I think it was. When he slapped them together, I think it was the Bride of Chucky. Uh, because he fell through the fan in part three, and in part four they put him back together, and voodoo, voodoo his ass back to life. That's an interesting movie. It's got some funny quirks about it. And my dog's kind of moving around right now. It's getting a little uncomfortable. He's trying to get comfortable. All right. Yes, you, you can hear him. Okay, he's getting all scratchy. All right. But this is um, the Bride of Chucky. And he's also in a seat of Chucky too, so. I do have a mega scale version. I got three actual um, Chucky's. One is from part two, I believe it is. And the Bride of Chucky. And, I th and the other one's the Pizza Face. Now this last magnet I'm going to show you is from Halloween. It's a big one and it's a heavy one. It's absolutely pretty cool looking. As you can see the knife right here, and he's holding his hand, you just, poof, just stick it on there. What I liked about it is the poster version from the 1978 movie, and that's what this is. I'm going to move that in a little closer for you. It's, actually, it's really cool. I like the looks of this. It stands out because I love pumpkins. And that's the coolest aspect about Halloween is pumpkins. That and a horror thing. Trick or Treat Studios, guys. All right, that's where I got this from. I get most of my stuff from Big Bad Toy Store. All right, enough about the magnets. I'm gonna end this video here. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to see some more videos because I will be pushing out two more videos behind this one here. Actually, three more videos behind this one here. Okay, so we will see you guys in the near future.